Good morning, y'all. About to show you how I make my herbal tea. If you guys follow me on Instagram at Eve um, underscore Fit Chick, you always see me make this, so let's do it. All right, so everything we need is right here, just like this cup says, let's do this. I've got my Collagen Beauty Booster. I use this to help reduce cellulite. It also helps with wrinkles and it also helps with um, skin elasticity. Um, this has been clinically tested, so you guys know, mad macro scientists, I love anything that is science backed. So I've been using this since 2016. And then we're gonna do some herbal concentrate tea. This is just the original, which I hardly ever get. Note to you guys, but the peach and the raspberry and the lemon are um, the best, and I accidentally picked out this flavor. So this is what we're gonna be rolling with. But as you see right there, boost your metabolism. This is a natural fat burner, and it truly jumpstarts your metabolism, just like it says. It helps to give you energy, mental focus, it's natural, it's got caffeine, it's got um, green tea in it. Um, it's a fine blend that we import um, from China. We as in Herbalife, this is not a skinny like detox thing, you know, no shade to the other tea companies, but this is legit stuff. It increases your metabolism and it also helps you to burn 80 to 100 calories per serving. So why not? All right, so you don't have to have the Collagen Beauty Booster. I'm using this to, to flavor the tea. So you take a half teaspoon, which I've already poured out. It comes in a powder concentrate. You guys can take this to work, travel with it, whatever. And then I'm gonna do two scoops, which is the daily serving. You don't need any more than this of the Collagen Beauty Booster. And I've already got some water that is hot. This is how I do it. I microwave the water while I am measuring everything else out. And if it's not hot enough, um, I will go in and then, you know, microwave it again. But it just stirs until everything is dissolved. And that's it. Whew. All right, peeps. Ugh. Oh my gosh, let's talk, let's talk. So, let's talk about this new split in this new food so I told you guys that my split was changed and my food was changed and this is what happened so I am doing a carb cycle right now I'm doing four low days two higher carb days and one medium day and the theory behind doing this is that you do a cycle with carbs where you go low and then you go high where you are trying to deplete your um, glycogen storage, get your body to use stored fat for energy, and then you boost your fat loss by supplying your body with some more carbs and having that high carb day so that it will continue to um, utilize some of your stored fat, but you kind of give it that boost, you give it some fuel, you give it some energy to remind it okay we're not going to be stingy we're not going to hold on to this body fat she gave us some more carbs she gave us some more food let's release some carbs or sorry release some fat so that's what happens um, but typically you do a rotation where you do a few days low a few days high and this is how i coach some of my macro clients that um, sometimes hit a plateau but with athletes they have noticed that doing one high carb day it's not enough like when you need to replenish your glycogen stores um, as an athlete and you have more muscle mass and lower body fat you really need to have a longer like feeding period of those carbs so what i'm doing now is doing four low and then two high carb days because one is not enough so i've got these four low days I've got the two high days and the one medium day, which almost primes me to get back to those low days. Um, so I had to totally change the split that I showed you guys um, two weeks back. So my workout split has changed. So on the low days, I do more cardio that is um, HIIT style where I'm changing my um, heart rate to go from high to low um, to you know challenge my heart to burn more fat. So on the low days, I do the HIIT cardio or I'll do my one spin class a week, which I did today and now I have to change the day that I'm doing it. And on the day that I have more carbs, I'm gonna lift as heavy as I can possibly lift. 
and then only do low intensity steady state LISS, L-I-S-S. So that'll be like slower um, speed on the treadmill or a um, high incline like 10.0 to 15.0 on the treadmill. So high carb days is gonna be low intensity, steady state cardio, and then the lower carb days, which I'll be dying, I'll be hangry, I'll be mean, I'll be emotional, I'll probably be crying on my Insta story. Um, those are the days that I have to do the cardio that requires the most of me. So my split has completely changed. Um, I'm up for the challenge. I should be able to stay on something like this almost all the way out, but I'll keep you guys posted on what we actually do. All right guys, a few of you have asked about how to make my rice cauliflower, so we're gonna go hop into the kitchen right now and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it simply. Okay guys, let's get this show going. So you know I like easy ingredients. We're gonna be using bell peppers. We're going to be using garlic salt, black pepper, nonstick spray and rice cauliflower. So this rice cauliflower is from Costco. It came in two bags and I separated it and frozen, frozen it, uh, froze it separately, sorry. And you can also get this from Trader Joe's. I've seen it at Walmart and Target in the freezer section, super easy. Non-stick spray going into your pan. I've got it on about medium heat. It's pretty hot there. Let's get ready to add this. All right, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and put this in frozen. And we're gonna spread it out to cover the entire pan. And then I like to add my frozen bell pepper trio right on top. And I'm not adding the whole bag. This is probably gonna be about like a half cup. So here we go, we've got the bell peppers on top of the rice cauliflower. I'm gonna keep this on medium heat and we're gonna let this cook for about three minutes. Kind of um, let it steam out or cook down the frozen vegetables. So three minutes just like this, no stirring, you can set your timer. Here's another optional seasoning that I love. You can find it at most grocery stores. I buy it in bulk from Costco. Weber's Kitchen Chicken Seasoning. It's an optional seasoning that you can use on top. It's already, it already has a little bit of salt, so you don't really have to add anything. All right, it's been going for about three to four minutes. All right, you kind of just stir it around a little bit. how that's coming together. It's not sticking because you have the non-stick spray. You had the moisture from the veggies. And now after you've stirred it the first time, we're going to let it sit again for another four minutes. All right, last step. We're adding the garlic salt. I like this combination because you have the garlic and salt all in one. Add pepper to your desired consistency. And then we're turning the heat up more to medium high. And now we're just going to saute for like another minute or two until it's a little bit brown and then we're done. So, everybody wants to know about this soup. What happened after my meltdown? Am I still going to compete? Do I have it together? Well, the good news is, is that um, I am sponsored by Angel Competition Bikinis and them being you know a credible and well-established company and me being one of their sponsored athletes they're actually um, helping me with the suit and doing repairs um, to the suit or not repairs but making the suit a little bit bigger bigger for my um, fuller glutes so 
They are working on the suit right now. I'm gonna provide you guys with updates on how it's going, um, but it seemed like the suit needed um, a little more distance in the crotch area because the bottoms were all the way up in my butt, and yes, my glutes are fuller, and there wasn't enough fabric on the back of the suit to cover my butt. So the suits are custom. Um, they are making the bottoms again, and I'll give you an update on how it goes. So will I be leaning enough for the stage so the goal is to get close to 10% body fat for the show I have competed at 9.89% and I think like 10.5% so if I get lean enough for the show I should be fine is eight weeks enough more time um, we'll just have to see so um, I'm just pushing harder I'm really staying focused on what I need to be doing I'm using the incident as with the suit as a source of motivation to kind of keep me going towards my goal so I really don't look um, at it as a setback it's really just an opportunity for me to come up and really show what I am capable doing of doing and part of this process is being able to dig in deeper and the moments that I'm weak and find my strengths and come out better on the end so I'm gonna keep you guys posted on how things are going with this suit darling